Wellspring Kids. I'm Elissa, reporting to you from right here in New York City. It is my job to show you around and introduce you to some of the everyday heroes who make this city amazing. There are so many exciting things to see and do in the city, but one of the best parts is all of the people you get to meet. Would you all like to explore the city and meet the people who live and work here? Great! Today we are going to visit one of our city's schools. Let's see if we can figure out who we are going to meet today at the school. These are some of the everyday heroes in our city. The mailman is the hero who gets important mail from the post office and delivers it to all of our citizens. The student is the hero who goes to school. The chef is a hero who works at the restaurant. So which one of these do you think you will meet at the school today? That's right! The school is where all of the boys and girls in our city go to learn. Let's hop on the city bus and meet one of those students. Everyone, roll your arms like the wheels on the bus and sing with me. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town, all through the town, all through the town. Hello everyone, my name is Claire and I'm a student here at our school. My job is a little different than other heroes in our city. I come to school to listen and have fun learning from my teachers. I try to always come to school prepared with my backpack full of important books and supplies like paper and something to write with. But there's an invisible armor that I wear every day and it's more powerful than anything. It's called the armor of God. When I put on all of God's armor and pray, God hears me and helps me with whatever I need. There's a verse from the Bible that helps me remember to put on all of God's armor every day. Let me hear you say it after me. Put on all. Put on all. Of God's. Of God's. Armor. Armor. Ephesians 6, 11. Ephesians 6, 11. That's it. Here in the city, we sing a song to help us remember all of the pieces of God's armor that we need to put on every day. Stand up and sing it now. Put on the belt of truth, my good news boots, get dressed and ready to go. The shield of faith, the sword I raise, God's word is what I know. With all my might, I'll do what's right. The armor of godliness My helmet's on My salvation Now I can stand strong and pray Cause the armor of God fits good on me It makes me strong as I can be I can stand against the enemy Cause the armor of God fits good on me The armor of God fits good on me Good on me Great job singing that song. Now go ahead and take a seat. One of my favorite pieces of the armor of God is the sword of the spirit. The Bible is the sword of the spirit. Would you like to hear a story from the Bible? Yes! Great! Now let's all get ready for the story by clicking on our listening ears. Click, click. click. Now, let's put on our special eyes. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Long ago, God had chosen Joshua to be the leader of his people. God told Joshua to lead the people across the river 
to the special land God had for them. But in this new land, there were five kings who did not love God or his people. Show me a thumbs down for these five kings. That's it. To get to the special land God had for them, Joshua had to fight these five kings. All of the kings were scared to fight Joshua's army because they had heard how God had helped them win every battle. So they got all five of their armies together to make one giant army. Joshua got his army and marched to battle. Let me see all of you swing your arms like you're marching into battle. Good job! Now as they were marching, God told Joshua not to be afraid because the enemy army would not win. Joshua's army surprised the king's armies with their attack. God confused the different armies and Joshua's army was able to chase them down the road. As they were running, God threw big balls of ice down on the king's armies. God was helping Joshua and his men win the battle. But the battle wasn't over. Joshua and his men needed more time. So Joshua prayed and asked God to make the sun stand still. Friends, let me see you make praying hands like Joshua. Perfect. Joshua prayed and asked God to make the sun keep shining in the sky until the battle was over. This meant that the sun would still shine even when the sky was supposed to be dark. God heard Joshua's prayer and he made the sun stand still until the whole battle was over. You see, Joshua had put on all of God's armor, but he knew that he still needed God's help. So Joshua prayed and asked God for help. God heard his prayer and he helped Joshua stand firm until the battle was won. We have the power to be an everyday hero when we put on all of God's armor. The belt of truth, the armor of godliness, the good news boots, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit. Then we can pray. God hears us and he helps us stand firm against anything that comes our way. So let me hear you say this after me. Stand firm. Stand firm. And pray. And pray. You've got it. When you put on all of God's armor and pray, you'll be strong enough to stand up to any evil that comes your way. Thanks, Claire. She's right. All the citizens in our city can stand firm and pray as they put on God's armor every day. Let's say that together one more time. Repeat after me. Stand firm and pray. Let's practice that by playing a game. Today's game is called Stop, Drop, and Pray. You are going to move around and I'm either going to say stop, drop, or pray. When I do, you are either going to stop, drop, or pray. Are you ready? Let's start off by hopping like a bunny. Hop like a bunny. Great job. Stop. Awesome. Great job. Now let's do some jumping jacks. Jumping jacks, drop. Awesome. Now let's walk like an elephant. Boom, boom. Walk like an elephant. And pray. Great job, you guys. Okay, now let's walk like a monkey. Monkey, monkey, monkey. And drop. Great job, you guys. Let's do one more. Let's march in place. March, 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 and pray. Great job, you guys. 
you guys are all ready. Since we are so prepared, let's help out a friend. This is Ricky. There are two boys that have been picking on Ricky and calling him names. Friends, does Ricky look happy or mad? That's right, Ricky is mad that these boys are bullying him. But Claire told us a story from the Bible that can help us know what to do in this situation. Did Claire say that we needed to stand firm and pray or play? You got it. Ricky needs God's help and all he has to do is ask God. Give me a thumbs up if you think God will hear Ricky's prayers and help him. It looks like Ricky has all of God's armor on, but he still needs to do one thing. You guys, does Ricky need to sit down and play or stand firm and pray? <laughs> yes, Ricky needs to pray and ask God to help him. God will help Ricky tell the teacher and not to be mean back to the bullies because God always helps us when we ask him. I think we need to remind Ricky to stand firm and pray. Let's all tell him together. Just repeat after me. Stand firm and pray. Look at that. Ricky has put on God's armor. And now he is standing firm and praying. He's an everyday hero, just like Claire. You and I can be heroes, just like Ricky and Claire too, by doing what they did every day. We can put on God's armor, stand firm and pray. God's armor helps us to stand strong and not give up when things seem too hard to do. Let's all practice standing firm and praying. Bow your heads and close your eyes with me. Dear Jesus, thank you for your armor. Thank you for teaching us how to pray and for Joshua's story that shows us the power of prayer. Help us continue to stand firm and pray. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Amen, you guys. Let's worship God together for every piece of his armor and the ability to talk to him. Yeah. 
What a great time we had learning about all of God's armor and how to wear it and how to be an everyday hero. I will see you next time. Until then, enjoy your city. See ya!